Hello everyone and uh, welcome to my video. Um, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but um, I have a feeling that it's going to be um, uh, quite a bit longer than I was planning on. <laughs> um, I basically wanted to make a video uh, where I showed how I play uh, EverQuest on an emulated server called ESET Server. Um, so mainly wanted to show you all two things. First off, how I use Iceboxer to um, to help set up my my clients, uh, start them, and uh, and you know how it looks on my screen when I play with my uh, my window setups, uh, and also more importantly how um, how I set up my 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 boxes, my 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 EverQuest. Uh, uh, characters um, in game with uh, with hotkeys and stuff uh, in within the bounds of uh, what is allowed on uh, on the server that I'm playing ESET server. Um, but uh, let's um, start off with a quick introduction to who I really am uh, and uh, a brief history. Um, so first off, um, as you can probably or as you probably will understand during the video I'm not from uh, <laughs> an English speaking country I'm actually from uh, from uh, the great Nordic uh, country of Norway um, so I'm a true Viking or at least I <clears throat> I like to think that I am <laughs> uh, anyway um, like uh, <clears throat> like so many other players that started uh, uh, playing on the emulated uh, EverQuest servers I was also um, Playing EverQuest Live back in 1999 when it came out, and I was uh, hooked from the start. Uh, I played it uh, for uh, what must probably be like four or five years. I played until uh, until the um, Planes of Power came out. Uh, I think I played a bit. I played like maybe half a year after uh, Plane of Power was uh, released. That expansion was released, and then. Uh, I guess World of Warcraft happened or something, but uh, it was a few years then where where I um, <clears throat> where I put EverQuest down and uh, moved to other games. Um, and um, at some point, um, the emulated server community started to grow, and uh, uh, I at some point late uh, I think it was late nine uh, two thousand and eight late two thousand and eight. Uh, I started exploring uh, the um, the EverQuest uh, emulated servers, and I came upon a server called ESET Server, which was uh, made by um, uh, Hunter, um, who since has passed, um, um, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, the server still lives, and uh, it's uh, it's a place where I have been uh, been having a lot of fun uh, during. Uh, during these last 14 years on and off so um, hopefully um, hopefully uh, I get to see some new players uh, jumping in and uh, starting to uh, to uh, give um, the ESET server experience a go it's a, it's a great place if you uh, if you want to play uh, solo uh, you can play you can group up as well but uh, it is mainly a solo boxing server with a custom content it's not like the p99 where where you um where you uh, <clears throat> where they try to mimic the the live content as uh, as much as possible it's uh this is more like a a custom server with uh, a lot of custom zones it has 10 tiers and a lot of off zones as well to experience uh, so there is tons of content um on this server for you to enjoy if you want to give it a go but um, you know the main reason I made this was because I am running a lot of tunes and uh, I get that a lot of people may think that is a, a bit intimidating a lot of work um, but from a technical point of view I was hoping to show you uh, through this video that it doesn't need to be very complicated to play here uh, with uh, a lot of characters um, and also, um, first off, I wanted to show you how I run it with IS Boxer, uh, this program that I use uh, to, you know, improve my boxing experience personally. Uh, this is a program that costs money, so I'm gonna 
going to start by uh, by showcasing that a bit. Um, nothing too advanced, just a simple, uh, simple rundown of uh, how I use it. And uh, you can choose if you want to give it a go or not. I think there is a trial trial period as well. Um, I'm not quite sure how much I pay for this subscription, but I usually do the like 90 day subscription at a time. Uh, so it's like 10, 15 bucks, I think. But uh, you know, you should check it out yourself if you want to use it. Uh, and even though, even if you don't want to use Icebox, you can just skip through the next part and uh, and uh, and stay tuned for when I uh, when I show you how I <coughs> run all my boxes here um, and how I run all my. I have thirty three characters, and I, from a technical point of view, it's not very difficult to run them. But and that's what I'm hoping to show you. So um, if you're not interested in uh, how Iceboxer works, uh, you can just skip this part. Uh, so basically, Iceboxer is the reason why I have my. My EverQuest client window set up like this, um, and uh, and uh, I really like the and that that's actually the main reason why I'm using Iceboxer. It's because uh, I really like this uh, this window layout uh, where I can just you know scroll through all the windows. You know, the longer you play, the the faster you can just you know <clears throat> rem remember where <laughs> uh, which character is 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 where uh, on the screen. And um, yeah, so let's get this going. Uh, Iceboxer, uh, let's start by uh, showing the, um, the Iceboxer toolkit. Um, uh, and basically when you, after you've installed it and, and, and um, added a, a game here, game profile, no patch profile, uh, you just open up the, the toolkit here like I have here. And um, yeah, you start by doing the quick setup wizard um, select the game that you want, uh, EverQuest, obviously, and this, uh, uh, and, uh, then you can add characters here, uh, as many as you, you wanna, you wanna play on the server. Um, if you have, um, uh, you may find the, the ENI files, uh, for your different characters from your EverQuest folder, but in case you don't have them, you have to, you know, the first time you have to, to make them, add them manually, so, uh, you start by doing the character names, so one, and then you have to type the account name up here, and then you can add the character, and then you can move on, uh, so two, test two, and so on, and you you add all the characters you wanna you wanna box uh, on ESET server. Um, I would recommend starting with n not less than uh, six characters and. Uh, at some point, you uh, you want to run at least uh, at least twelve characters, um, and if you are interested in uh, in uh, in getting some tips, uh, <coughs> you can ask in the Discord channel, and we can give you some tips on what classes you should uh, focus on to start with. Um, on ESA server, there is people are playing like twelve boxes, twelve clients, twelve classes, and. And you have people that play, like me, I play 33 characters now. That's, uh, that's quite a bit <laughs> and quite a lot of work, uh, you know, keeping up with the items and stuff and farming. So, so you know, each to their own. You, know, you just got to figure out um, how you like to play. Um, and uh, when you've added the characters that you want to wanna, wanna box, uh, choose next, uh, give, it a, give it a name, and uh, then you come to the window layouts setup where you can uh, choose uh, how you want your uh, your clients to to wrap around the screen uh, as you can see from uh, from uh, from the video um, I have uh, like this kind of setup where I uh, I have all the <coughs> all the off uh, windows set up or wrapped around the corners and the main window here in the middle which is uh, a lot bigger uh, so I basically I don't don't touch anything uh, over here. Uh, I just select the layout that I want and um, yeah, and basically move on to the next. Uh, uh, oh, one thing when it comes to the when it comes to the layout, it's not a problem to you know alter this. Uh, if you're not satisfied with uh, with how you have it set up uh, from the start, you can. Uh, easily go back and uh, select the character set and uh, and uh, do the 
the window setup, uh, window layout setup uh, again, and just uh, me, me, you know do a different one. So it's not a problem if you're not, yeah, if you don't get it right the first time. Um, and then you come to another uh, quite important thing, where as the CPU strategy. Uh, and for my, I have an i7 uh, CPU with hyper threading, uh, and I normally use this round uh, round robin uh, for that. Uh, for this uh, computer, uh, which had dedicates one CPU to my main window, and uh, the rest of the <coughs> of the the client slots are are you know spread out to the different cores of the CPU. Uh, I don't touch uh, these because the uh, macro quest plugin that you, you can use called MQFPS something, uh, you can uh, make some uh, changes there to to the foreground and background. Um, FPS and just um, so um, yeah, I should mention that as well. Uh, we have uh, on the ESET server forums we have a we have a post there an uh, optimization guide which you should definitely check out if uh, this is the first time you're uh, playing uh, or boxing. Uh, you should check it out and uh, and make some of the changes there to to make this the experience a lot better uh, for when you um, box your tune stuff. So, um, moving on, um, <clears throat> uh, I have not played around too much with this, but what I think is important is to uncheck this one, because basically what this does is, uh, is uh, if you have this, leave this checked, it'll um, broadcast, uh, you know, like every time you push one, two, three, four, five, and so on, it'll broadcast it to all the, all the client windows, and you don't want that. You want to set that up manually in game, like if your main tank is pressing uh, hot key button two, uh, you wanna you wanna be in control of uh, uh, the other client windows and what they'll do if you push that key or not. Uh, some of the clients uh, windows you may not want to. You don't. You may not want them to ha to perform any actions at all. So uh, trust me, just uh, uncheck this and uh, finish pressing cancel here. Uh, and then all you need to do is uh, is um, export it all to inner space, and the profile will show up down here. Uh, so when you when you hit this uh, this uh, character set, uh, the inner space will just uh, start loading up all your uh, client windows and line them up like you see here. Uh, what Iceboxer will not do is it'll not automatically log you into the game, and like like you cannot go AFK and then you'll you'll be like like here you'll be like logged into the game you have to uh you have to it'll rem it'll create any files and and you know it'll remember your account name but you have to enter the password uh manually um <clears throat> and you know you have to uh you know log in manually um but it's quite easy to do it uh if you have the same password on all the accounts, you can just use this uh, broadcast button here, which basically, I don't use it too much in game because in game you can just use the BCA or BCAA commands to, you know, like, uh, yo. So you can just use this one in game. But when you're not in game, uh, this one is quite handy because, you know, as soon as you've, uh, you've uh, started your profile here and uh, all the client windows are, <clears throat> I've started up and uh, or at the login screen. Uh, you can just you know use this if you have the same password in all your accounts. You can use this one, push this, and basically uh, it'll mimic uh, everything you type uh, in this window on <clears throat> to all the other uh, client windows you have up, um, and uh, so it'll also mimic the the mouse movements and the mouse clicks. So yeah, it's it's quite effortlessly to uh, effortless to. Um, you know, log into the game. Um, but yeah, as I said uh, previously, um, I mainly use Iceboxer to uh, because of the client uh, window setups. So uh, yeah, um, but you know, you can use it in game uh, as well. I mean, it does the same as the BCA commands. You can just push this one, and uh, and you know, all your characters will will if I jump, you know, they'll jump. Uh, but I don't, I don't use this feature much, uh, to be honest. I really don't. Um, uh, but yeah, it, it's there, and, and you can use it, but just just be careful, you know, mm -hmm. like, 
<clears throat> you don't want to you don't want to use it and then you know do an out of character on your main <laughs> on your main client and you know it'll send it to everyone and you'll just spam and yeah i'm not going to say that i've never done that before <laughs> but anyway um so that is iceboxer in uh, uh yeah uh, quick rundown on what iceboxer is uh so uh, back to the more uh important stuff uh that i was hoping that um mainly new players would benefit from uh, some tips here uh, on how to set up um, stuff in game. So you can see on my screen here I have a lot of hotkeys up here. Uh, most of it is spies. I don't use a lot of it. Mainly two, mainly two or three of these buttons is what I mainly use and that is you know more or less enough to control all my characters. Um, and I'm gonna do the easy route now and show you how you can do it quite easily. Uh, I'm not going to go into uh, creating different channels for, for melee classes and for uh, caster classes. But you can do that as well. But that is something you should probably decide early on. If you, uh, like for me, I, um, I mainly uh, have all my tunes uh, attacking. Uh, like, if I send a command, they all go attack like see Faradar there so they'll all go attack and uh, and uh, even the even the healers will do that um, so but if you want the healers to stay back there are many ways to do that and uh, you can do classes you can do classes and um, and um, uh, I mean not classes but channels for the different classes and you uh, you can set it up so that you um, uh, so that you can send different commands to different uh, classes, like the melee classes can uh, can attack, and uh, you know the 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 healers can maybe stick uh, stick behind the tank and just you know target the tank uh, and keep the target up, and uh, you have another key to to heal. Uh, so there are different ways to do it, but you know I, I'm just going to show you the easy way now, just you know to get you started uh, as easy as possible and uh, make a Make an easy way of doing this. So uh, just um, yeah, I just need to pause for a second here. Um, so hold on for a bit. Okay. So before uh, we get going with this part, um, I just wanted to let you know that uh, it's important that you check the ESET server rules if you're planning to play here. Um, we don't allow uh, a lot of the automation that some of the other servers are allowing, like E3 and uh, and uh, like MQ2 Melee and stuff. Uh, you can use the Bard Twist uh, plugin from MQ2, but you know basically, um, um, you know you have to do things uh, through th uh, through socials here, and you have to you have to you know you have to push a button if you want your healers to heal. Um, you can, uh, it's not allowed to come in here and, uh, and you know, start an attack and, uh, and then you just start a macro to tell all your healers to, to, you know, keep healing you until the fight is over. You have to, like, manually push buttons for things to happen. But that doesn't mean you cannot control all your characters from, uh, from the main window like I'm showing you now. Uh, you, can, you can do most everything just from this, uh, from your main tanks window. Uh, so let's start with the basics. Uh, the first button is the, atta the attack button. So I'm just gonna open it up here. It's the social. Uh, and uh, this is a multi-line, uh, which basically uh, lets you with, uh, as long as you use the se semicolons, I think that's what it's called <laughs> in English. Well, you can see it anyway. As long as you use these, you can, um, you can enter a lot of macro quest two commands in uh, in uh, in one line, which uh, is uh, highly recommended. So uh, using this multi line, the first uh, thing that I do on my attack hotkey is to tell my uh, my other uh, characters to target my target, uh, which is this uh, command here. And after that, I send them a new command, which uh, tells them to uh, to stick behind the target. So um, so if I target a mob up here and uh, and uh, push the attack button, my characters will will stick behind it. And um, as you can see here, and then uh, I have a command. And the final command is uh, 
to put the attack on. So it, it's it, this is a quite easy. I'm sure there are tons of other ways of doing this, but you know this works. It's a uh, it's a really fast uh, way of uh, sending your characters in to to attack your target. So so yeah, you may use this. Uh, you may have other ways of doing it as well. But you know this works. Uh, so. Uh, this is the first button, uh, and uh, it's obviously one that I use every time that I attack a mob in here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there's that. And um, and then we have this button, and this is like a... It's not just a taunt button, it's a, it's a, it's a multi-use uh, hotkey. So let me explain this a bit. Um, so here's a multi-line, which uh, the use item is basically for clicking this item here. Uh, so this is this will cast anger, which is uh, it, uh, adds some aggro to uh, for me my main tank. So that is what it does first, and then it tells all my other clients, um, all my other windows to keep press two. Uh, and some of these um, some of these um, characters around here have um, have a function for uh, their keep press two. It basically keep press two uh, keep press two tells my other uh, client windows to press their hotkey button number two and uh, and some of these uh, clients have uh, useful stuff there and some probably don't have anything there so uh, this is a button that I push uh, more or less continuously uh, while I'm fighting a, a mob uh, also I've added uh, I've added something here is just um, uh, something to to make sure my I keep uh, an important buff up um, because there's some mobs here in I'm currently in Vashon's Peak and there's a mob here that kind of uh, takes this important uh, mitigation buff off sometimes and so this is just uh, an addition I made to make sure that I always you know keep my uh, keep my mitigation buff up so um, yeah so yeah but anyway let's uh, see here uh, what happens when I push this key this taunt key. Well, I taunt the target, that's one thing. And the other thing is that I tell, tell my other clients to pass, press their key, uh, hotkey button too. And let's move over to my healers here. Here's my, uh, my uh, one of my clerics. Uh, and um, uh, when I push my, um, when I push this button here on my main tank, it tells my, my cleric to push this button here. And this button here, let's see what it says. It's multi-line, it says target Sarthin. Uh, PC and cast spell number six, which is already healing three. So this is the spell that my cleric is uh, spamming on me. Um, when I push this key on my on my tank, this taunt button here, uh, uh, it tells my cleric to press uh, press and heal, uh, but it doesn't heal. Like you push it once, uh, my cleric heals me once. So pushing this, it'll heal me once. Uh, oh, actually, fizzle there. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it, uh, and um, um, so it yeah, and also uh, because that's not my I have another cleric here as well, so he's he has the same button. So uh, whenever I press the taunt hotkey on my my main tank, it tells this this cleric as well to to you know heal me. Uh, same goes for my my druid here. Uh, which has, uh, he has an uh, AOE heal from Vision's Peak, which is really nice. Uh, and he also, I also uh, added um, a key press 8, which is uh, this uh, item here. Because there is a cooldown on, um, there's a cooldown on uh, this uh, heal spell. Uh, so uh, it basically, my druid is, um, is basically, what I was trying to do here is, uh, is, uh, yeah, you know, target him, heal, and then, you know, spam this, but, you know, I haven't added any, I haven't added any, um, any switching of targets here, so I can do that later on, it's, it's not necessarily something you, you need to play around too much with, uh, at this point, um, you can also do this in a multi-line, uh, I, sh yeah, I normally do that, I haven't done it here, but, but, you know, uh, I think there, I think someone once told me that you have, a small delay between the lines here so anything if you can use the multi-line and get uh, like um, like this um, you have to use two slashes here and uh, uh, like this um, 
And then you have to add another one. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. No. Cast five like this. So you can do it like this. I don't need this. These are just for sending um, from another client. So I heal. Uh, anyways, um, so basically, uh, pushing this button, a lot of things happen. When I push it on my tank, uh, you can see it here, my healers are starting to heal. Uh, and I, just, I can press it many times, as, as long as I keep, it, I keep pressing it, um, you know, my healers will keep healing me. Uh, and um, also, let's have a look here at some of the other stuff that's happening. Here's uh, my shaman, he's also, you know healing me um, and then um, let's see here what else do we have okay so here's my 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 board so when I so basically pressing hotkey to uh, on my tank uh, she um, my board pushes the, clicks the epic click which uh, starts a, a song which adds some BPS so yeah, basically you can uh, you can uh, put whatever useful stuff uh, on on the hotkey too on your different tunes here. Like so, you can see here my 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 berserkers have a the epic here with a click that does AOE damage. Uh, so they keep spamming that, and uh, you have my my rogues up here. Uh, they push the backstab. Uh, so yeah, it's a it's a good way of keeping up. Uh, Keeping them up, uh, and here my my casters they're pushing the um, pushing the um, the one that does uh, direct damage. As you can see here, it does a lot of uh, damage. So uh, as long as uh, as long as I uh, attack a target, send my tunes in, uh, target the mob, and start attacking, I can just spam this uh, hotkey here, and uh, you know. My classes will do their stuff. It's really easy. These are actually the two main hotkeys you need. Uh, one to tell your uh, your characters to attack a mob, and one to to you know give them some more useful actions like this hotkey two, where where they have key press two on, where uh, my healers keep healing me, my rogues backstab, my my casters cast. Um, caster one for damage and stuff, and. Um, yeah, so so you know, and, and also uh, this this one is uh, quite useful in some zones, especially uh, for me. I don't use stick anymore, but this is also a key that a uh, hotkey that you know. Uh, this could also be done in a multi multi line. I haven't you know messed around too much with this for a long time because I don't use it any much too much anymore. Uh, basically, it tells all my characters to target me and uh, you know stick behind me, so they'll you know move move with me. So, uh, so in the first, uh, in the beginning, you you will probably use this quite a bit. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna open it up a bit again. Uh, so it can be like this, or you can do it in a multi-line um, if you want. Um, but this may be useful for you. Uh, well, this will be useful for you. Uh, but if at some point you decide to um, to donate to the server. Uh, you may get items like these. Uh, either the this is a raid uh, call of hero. Uh, you, there's also a group version um, uh, where you just summon your group. Um, so you can you can do that as well. So you can see here I can summon all my. So I don't use the stick command too much anymore. I just run around with my tank uh, to where I want to go and then keep summoning my all my crew. So yeah, so that's quite easy to do. Um, um, but uh, yeah, uh, so these three hotkeys are the most important ones. This one that I showed you in the beginning, uh, where uh, all your characters assist you and attack the target. Uh, you have the taunt button where you uh, also want to add uh, maybe a key press too. Uh, and then you have some work cut out for you to, you know, go around to your other characters uh, second hotkey and, you know, add some useful stuff. Um, uh, to them as well, and um, and then yeah, the stick uh, stick hotkey where you tell your characters to, you know, trail behind you, follow you, 
so that's the main three hotkeys really uh, to get things going. Uh, and if you have those three hotkeys, um, uh, well, you know, you, you can get you can get a long way uh, boxing uh, on the server. It doesn't matter if you have like five or ten, twenty, thirty characters. It's 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 really easy. Um, I also have a lot of other stuff here, and you know, as as uh, as you progress on the server, and you know, you learn more, you learn more stuff. Uh, you will you know learn how to add some more spice to your um, to your um, boxing experience. Like I have a hotkey here as well uh, uh, that does a key press and key press three. Uh, and um, key press three does, um, you know, you can choose. Uh, key press three here does uh, it, uh, my clerics throw a mitigation buff on me. Uh, my my druid casts a uh, heal uh, sort of spell here uh, on me. So you can just, uh, you know, eventually see what you can fit in. You can see some of my characters have some AA abilities here um, to to you know maximize damage and stuff. Uh, I think my, you can see my, my Berserkers have a Cry Havoc, uh, which uh, as you can see here, uh, uh, adds some, uh, some melee damage. Uh, so, you know, when I start a fight, I, I, I press this key as well, uh, sometimes just to add that. I can show you how it works. Uh, just, um, I think I need to buff up first. So, um, but yeah, uh, basically you can add, so, uh, this is a really easy and straightforward uh, way of doing it. Uh, just have your hotkeys here on your main window and, you know, tell them uh, key press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you just, you just add some spice on the, on the, on the other boxes here. So it's, uh, it's quite easy. Uh, I'll show you how it works in, uh, um, in just, uh, let me just buff up here a bit so I don't die. Uh, I have a macro um, uh, to, uh, and that is something you can um, uh, you can add. Uh, I can also send uh, if people are interested. I can send my my ma buff macro because that is one of the macros that you're actually allowed to do. Uh, buff macros are super useful, and um, same with uh, with the uh, loot macros. Loot macros are also allowed on uh, our server. So this is my my uh, quick buff macro. It tells my different characters to use um, different items and buffs. So uh, so this is uh, something I run quite often. Uh, so I'm gonna start by doing that first. Tell them to buff up. And in 30 seconds I should be good to go. And uh, then I'll show you a bit uh, how I play and uh, how I use my hotkeys. Uh, while I buff up, uh, here's another one that I added quite recently. Um, it's uh, it's a hotkey for Glyph of Destruction, which adds some DPS. Uh, what this basically does is tell all my client windows to to buy Glyph of Destruction in here. As you can see here, you have to buy it. So it tells all my clients to buy it and then to activate them. So when I push this key. Um, all my 33 characters will will you know apply uh, glyph of destruction. So, but you know this is just more min max stuff really. What you need is the attack button and you need a a hotkey to tell your healers to heal you and uh, you know maybe the DPS classes to you know backstab and stuff like that. So that is the main thing things that you need and the stick button when you want them to follow you around. Uh, so everything else is just uh, spice that you add, <laughs> you know, um, as you uh, learn more about boxing and playing on the server. So I'm, f I'm fully buffed now. So I'll start by showing off how I play. So uh, you can pull some, some tunes here. And uh, what I'm doing right now uh, is I'm just, I can push this hotkey and you can see my my healers are starting to heal me. Um, so, um, and when I push my attack hotkey, uh, all my tunes will just uh, run over and uh, kill the target. Uh, while I kill the target, I I pa press the hotkey button too uh, to make sure that I'm healed, to make sure that my rogues are backstabbing because they have set up their, you know, uh, hotkey too to backstab. So, 
every time I push this button on uh, on my uh, <coughs> on my main window. My rogues will attack. They will backstab. My my casters will cast their wands and stuff. So so this is what's uh, it's quite easy actually. And and this is uh, 32 characters, and uh, I'm only using two buttons really. Uh, and then you know when I want to loot, I use my loot macro. Uh, there are should be quite a few different loot macros <laughs> uh, lying around on the forums. Uh, so, uh, so um, I just push this, and uh, that is one of the few things that you're allowed to automate on the server, the loot macro, and it goes uh, really quick. Um, and then, I guess that is uh, it. I, I I really didn't want the video to to be too long, but uh, but. Um, yeah, I can see now that I've been talking for like 33 minutes to 35 minutes actually. So, yeah, it got a bit longer than I than I wanted it to be this video. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I covered the the most uh, what I wanted to cover in this video. Uh, how you basically how you set up Ice Boxer and how you can quite easily set up your characters to to do as you wish. Um, so let's just do one more kill here and just uh, let them stick behind me, let them follow me around. I don't do this much anymore because, uh, you know, uh, I use my, I normally use my items to uh, the call of your items. Uh, but okay, so this is how we'll do. Uh, I'm just gonna send my tunes in here. I push my attack key and they will run in and uh, start attacking. Uh, and um, I will push my heal button. Uh, heal slash taunt slash you know, damage mods like backstab. That's what my different characters will do when I push this button. And this button you need to, well, this button I push all the time. This is like a button that I that I spam to keep, to make sure my, you know, my melee, my DPS classes do their damage and, uh, and the healers heal me, uh, keep me up. Uh, so yeah, that is basically it. It's quite easy uh, to, to, you know, get things going and, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, not an advanced video, uh, and I hope I hope that you um, that you've learned something from this. Uh, I hope that it <laughs> that it can be useful for for some of you, especially newer players that you know want to get a feel on how to set up um, set up your boxes. So I think on that uh, I thank you for watching, and uh, I. Hope to see you playing on uh, on the ESAT server. Uh, thank you.